Hey everyone, I've got a new little project that I'm working on and hope to be finished pretty soon. So, so in 2012, we did not have uh, much of a com uh, camera. We definitely didn't really have a, gr I didn't have a great phone um, and whatnot. And it wasn't, I wasn't scrapbooking back then. So I wasn't high on taking all the photos. Um, possible that I definitely do now. So 2012 didn't really have too many photos, which is a shame because my eldest would have been six and my youngest four. So I was thinking about how to, to scrap that and how like, you know, that it would be just a small album, wouldn't be too much going on. What could I do? And I was watching um, Crystal on YouTube. Let me pick this up. And that's her full crystal and then her last name. I don't want to say it and get it wrong um, on YouTube. And she was doing a little mini book as um, as a subscription that she's part of. And how she did that was that it was like, like a travels noted book, but it was smaller. I'm not sure what size, but the book was printed. And so it had a um, each page had the same line system. And she put the photo in the middle, put the title up the top, and then these boxes down the bottom, she did very similar things on each page. Now, I thought that would be a pretty cool idea to get a project done. So having similar or, or exactly the same layout on page after page after page. So then got me thinking about um, how to do that. I also then was looking at the printables, and like these little phrases that are on the cut apart sheet and then we've got some that are on the printables and some that are part of the embellishments in the kit this month for September and I decided to use them as prompts so what I did was I did a little planning this month and it's not something I normally do but little sneak peek of some other ideas but I don't think I will do them exactly the same but what I did was I drew a little picture of what I thought could be the template as such and then I uh, the phrases that were on the printables and then the phrases that are on the cut apart sheet and then what I did was write out the phrases and then what month and then what photos and edited those photos into a three by four uh, template on Photoshop and then printed them out now this is what this beautiful goodie is so really this is bar a few there's a couple other photos that I didn't use but these are most of the photos of 2012 so really I might be able to just get away with a TN for 2012 and be caught up on a year how amazing that feel except for the fact that I'm sad about the lack of photos of my children but I'll just quickly show you what I did. I've got each little page section off. So I've got the little word that I've used as the prompt. I've then put the month in the word because I printed these before I printed the printables. And then I've got the three photos. So I've just wrapped a piece of paper around the photos. This one's actually got four. So I have to make a choice. It's the only one that has four. The rest have three. So I've kept a white border. The um, Retro Hip Mama template for Photoshop actually comes with the white border. So that was nice. So I've just got them and they're just sitting in there. I don't. There's a few months that don't have any photos, but I'm not going to be. It's just what it is, right? So I need to stop harping on about it and get over it. I have the September kit here sitting in my really useful box and then I've got this traveler's notebook insert that is actually grid but that's just because that's the, the insert that I've picked up that I've got spare. I know Steph has a uh, travel notebook inserts in her shop so go check out Kitaholic Kits and if you're a subscriber you'll be able to add it to your kit box. I then have drawn, I've got, these are the things that I must have on a page to make them um, 
similar and then I've got three little designs I don't want to veer too much I don't want to make the project too hard that I um, give up but I also don't want to make it too similar that I might get a little bored so but then again I've never done anything so similar that I'm I'm just assuming that I'm gonna get bored anyway I've got three little photos a title and some journaling and maybe a subtitle I figure the embellishments here could be at least one of the words and they're just embellishments they're not necessarily anything in particular and in fact these ones I didn't even draw any embellishments on this one's got the title and then all the journaling on one side and all the photos and perhaps a title down the side here this one's got the journaling and the photos and a huge title up the top now these are just guides and depends on how um, how much I want to stick to them I guess when I start creating I want to have one of the titles to be the the month that the photo is taken just so it stands out and then it'll just be that um, very cool continuous thing page after page that'll you know it'll probably be the, one of the first things that pop out to you uh, or use the word die cut obviously because I've just pulled them all out as my prompts I'll have a whole pile of journaling little embellies a little bit of embellishments and then the three photos uh, is what I want to have as my similarities so I because I don't have all the you know I don't have great photos even like the photos are pretty shocking and I didn't want to put them all in black and white and I edited as much as I could but can you see not so great but that was what was happening that year in terms of I don't even know if I, I can't even remember if I had a phone like a mobile phone at that stage there was a few years that I didn't have one when I was hanging at home with the boys anyway um yeah so sorry that was I lost my train of thought for a second so the fact that the photos aren't so great there's not so many photos especially for the whole year um and even for some events there's not that many I thought journaling would be great so thinking about what I did you know what I thought about back then what the story is about the photos um and you know things we can I can extend on so one of the prompts was let's stay home and I've used photos from making play-doh and stuff like that so I can talk about that but also talk about that we did a, a whole pile of activities at home that supported like a little bit of a, a preschool activity program as such for the both the boys together so yeah I'm going to now stop rambling uh, well that's probably not true because I'm going to go into a voiceover so I probably ramble in the voiceover but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get creating and speed it up in the editing process and do a voiceover so that you don't need to see it all in real time depending on how it goes I might split it up into multiple videos or I might just show you one and then do a flip through um, it just really depends but let's see how that goes